Welcome to the walkthrough video for Tremor. Seen as I have a long list of sample libraries that I've developed with other people, I thought it would be fun to send a few of them through Tremor to see how it alters their sounds. The first instrument that I've pulled up is Soft String Textures by Dan Keen. And if I send it through Tremor, it sounds like this. Personally, I think that sounds pretty cool. Essentially what Tremor is doing is sending your signal through a reverb that's combined with chorus and modulation and breaking it up into the low and high frequencies and then just modulating those two signals to have these two dueling rhythms. You can click this question mark at the top right corner to go through Tremor's interactive walkthrough. Let's first focus on this reverb control. If you move left and right, it adjusts the size and time of the reverb and that sounds like this. You can hear how this has the added effect of altering the pitch of the reverb signal. You can also change the damping of this signal by moving the dot up and down. Now let's move on to the controls at the bottom of the user interface. The cutoff frequencies separating the highs and lows can be adjusted with this central white line. You also have the ability to adjust the volume of the low and high frequencies by just dragging these colored boxes up and down. The two knobs are used to specify the speed of the tremolo for the low and high frequencies independently. The buttons below each knob can be used to alter the character of modulation. You can hear the differences right here. The three modes are saw up, saw down, and square. At the top of the user interface, you are provided a mix control, which allows you to balance the dry and wet signal. You can also switch Tremor to send mode by clicking this button. And this essentially makes it so that the dry signal stays at the same volume while the slider only adjust the level of the wet signal coming through. And the final control is the dice button, which randomly alters all of the controls on the bottom half of the interface. So that's an overview of all of the controls of Tremor. So now let's hear what Tremor can do on other sounds, such as Hearth and Hollow Folk Voices, which is a project that I did with Hunter Rogerson. But this is what it sounds like with Tremor.
But maybe we want these low frequencies to include a little bit more signal and maybe be faster. Or we can bring in the whole ensemble. Sounds like Tremor works pretty good on vocals as well as the strings that we played earlier. But what about piano? Postfelt is a beautiful piano library that I've developed with John Meyer at Somerville Sounds, and it sounds like this on its own. Now let's hear what it sounds like with Tremor fully wet. Maybe we want something that sounds completely different, so let's do the dice button. And we can adjust the amount of this wet signal with this slider. So let's be reminded of what the dry signal sounds like. And with tremor, it sounds like this. Postfelt sounds wonderful by itself, but Tremor provides an added layer of rhythm to the signal. If you're interested in Tremor, you can head on over to the website and get it for yourself. I'll make sure to put a link in the description below. And if you want to see how I made this plugin, lucky for you, I made a whole video series about it. So I'll put a link for the first video right here and you can check it out and also see me make a fool of myself in the process. Thank you so much for watching this. I hope it was useful and I'll talk to you later. See ya.